Hello, hello. <laughs> so I just want to start off by saying that today's video is sponsored by my boyfriend for giving me all these clothes so graciously um, and for allowing me to shred it all up. I was going to do it anyways, but you know, having his consent really does help. Also, I made a video on how to make this shirt that I'm currently wearing. So if you like it, we can match. Um, the video is going to be right here and I'll link it down below. You already know. So we're going to start off with, let's see. Let's start off with this one. Okay, so this little number right here, I have a picture of how I want it to go. Insert the picture right here. I'm just basically gonna crop it and then I'm gonna pair it with like some bell bottoms like these or skirt or something. But like, this is like very much fall. So this is what I really like and it's the mock neck type. So I really like it. So yeah, also these transformations are gonna be like really simple. Um, Cause I thought why not just, you know, change of pace. Cause I've been going like very, not f mode, but I've been doing it a lot less simple. It takes a bit more time. So yeah, I'm just gonna crop it. Um, so insert the clip here. Alrighty, this is gonna be an extremely easy flip using the most common method, cropping. I make my sweater be about 14 inches long and all I did was sew the seams. I used a leftover fabric to make a matching headband by sewing the seams on that too. And now you are done. And I really love how this one came out because it's very casual and can be matched with literally anything. Never gonna stand a chance, heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back again. Been three days on your So that is the brown sweater. Okay, this one I have no idea what to do with, but if I do figure out what to do with this, um, into the clip here. Okay, this one I have high hopes for, most definitely. There's a photo right here that I kind of want to recreate. Buttons do go like pretty low. So the cardigan looks like this. Um not really feeling it. And it's a little bit bigger in the underarms for me. So I'm just, I'm gonna downsize the underarms and then I'm just gonna get my little buttons um, from down here and then put it up here because I'm gonna crop the bottom part. I'm gonna cue the voiceover for that. All right, for the cardigan, I am cropping that as well, but I'm also gonna downsize it. I pretty much just pin a line across both sides of the cardigan and if you want an incredibly detailed video on how to do that, there's this video here and I'll link it down below. Okay, so once I sew along the pins, I cut off the excess fabric and then I just sew the seams. I also got some leftover buttons and sewed an extra button on top right there. I love how it came out and I think it would look so good with my thrifted pleated skirt and the long sleeves make this look perfect for the fall time. Thank goodness we're done. Okay, this is actually my favorite one from the entire donation that um, my boyfriend so graciously gave me. So sweet. Um, shout out to you. It's this one right here. I specifically asked him, like, are you sure it's okay if I shred this up? Because this one he actually like really really likes. So I feel bad shredding him. So I'm not gonna do that. And I don't feel like I'll need to anyways. It's just the armholes are a little bit bigger so i'm just gonna like sew the little armhole shut a bit so it could fit mine better i'm gonna keep the length because it's gonna be colder soon so it's kind of nice to have like an extra layer i guess under my skirt because i am planning on wearing this with the pleated skirt and the white undershirt at the bottom or whatever and then um so i think it'll look really nice i mean very fashionable I finally can replicate that look that I'm seeing everywhere on Instagram and TikTok. And you can um, cue the whatever for that. Now this is probably one of my easiest alterations. I just sew like four inches shut in the armpit area. But first you gotta put the sweater inside out as always. I sewed exactly where the pins were placed and that's pretty much it. Easy, right? And this is the final result for this one. I am so happy I can finally recreate those trendy outfits I've been seeing everywhere. I've been wanting to do this sort of outfit forever and I'm really glad that I can finally do it. <sighs> oh, we're done? Great! And then we're down to the pants. So for the pants, they are low rise. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them because I only wear them high-waisted shorts and they're wider. So what I'm thinking of doing is just solely using the denim fabric to make a pleated denim skirt. I'm not sure how that's gonna come out, if I'm even gonna be successful with it, but yeah. And with pleated skirts, you need a lot of fabric and I haven't done pleated skirts before. So this will definitely be my first time. So what I'm thinking of doing in my head is to make like a, a denim pleated skirt but with two tones. So like two different colors on one side and the other side. Um, you'll see in about a minute um, if I was successful. If I wasn't, then I'm still gonna post it probably because just to see my mistakes. You know, it's always good to um, show my mistakes. Like this. It's always good to show my mistakes. Um, hopefully I'm successful. I mean, in my mind, it makes sense. I haven't seen a photo like that. Um, 
So, I don't really have a reference photo, so I'm, I'm just simply winging it. And this is just an extra pants right here. Don't know what I'm gonna make with this either. Okay, now this one kind of challenged me a bit. I know I said I was gonna keep it simple, but once I get an idea, I gotta see it through. So after finishing cutting off the legs, I'm gonna seam rip the sides to really open up that flap. The seam ripping took way too long, so I suggest scissors next time. Now we got four blocks of denim fabric to work with, and all I did was connect those blocks of fabric together. Now onto the pleating. This is gonna be rushed, but if you want a more detailed video on how to make a pleated skirt, then I can definitely do that, just let me know. Okay, so I made my pleats 1.5 inches and pinned 1.5 inches are. And for every three pins, you can just sandwich them together and repeat that process to make as many pleats as you like. As you can see, the middle pin gets lost, so just take it out and use it to pleat the bottoms to really hold it in place, and now you rinse and repeat yet again. Once you're done with all the pleats, you just sew a line straight across. And what I also did was sew five inches down with each pleat to make it lay nice and flat. I also trimmed the bottom to give it that frayed look. The body is now complete. Up next is the waistband. I got more denim fabric from the original pants and sliced those strips in half. Then I matched the strips with its respective color with the ugly side facing me and just pin a straight line across. Once you sew the line, you just flip the fabric over into the inside of the skirt and sew another line there. I hand stitched that part so I can make an invisible stitch instead. Also ignore the elastic, I was trying out something but just didn't work. <laughs> but what did work was these buttons I placed on the edges of the skirt to create a wrap skirt. I used six buttons since denim is a bit heavy and it feels really secure so I'm happy with that. The skirt is now complete and this is how it looks. I think the two-tone denim skirt was definitely the hardest to do but it was also my favorite look so it's definitely worth it. Um, I really outdid myself here. I think it really did surpass what I envisioned. Tell me which one, which look you like the most. Um, I would definitely love to know. And I think that's about it. So here are my final words. So I am officially done. Um, I would very much like to say that I like how they came out. Um, even though I don't know how they came out, that's how much faith I have in myself. Um, I hope you found it very helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed me transforming my boyfriend's clothes. Um, shout out to him, again, for making this happen, this video happen. If it wasn't for his gracious donation towards the Wendy Foundation. And I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Whoa!